in this question it says that a point p this one a point p moves along a circle basically point this is a particle a particle p moves along a circle with angular velocity omega with respect to the center o of the circle with respect to the center o the point p moves with angular velocity omega it means with respect to center if this radius vector op is making angle theta then with respect to the center this uh, op radius rotates with angular velocity omega so that actually means that uh, omega is equal to d theta by dt rate of change of the angle theta is equal to the angular velocity now we have to find the angular velocity of the point p with respect to a point a on the circumference of circle this one although a is not a center of the circle but with respect to the point a we have to find out the angular velocity of the point p so first question arises does angular velocity also is defined when the reference point is not the center of circle answer yes yes of course means we can find the angular velocity of this particle p with respect to any point in space here with respect to center d theta by dt so why not we take this angle here phi let us say this angle phi now with respect to this uh, horizontal axis we can clearly see that when the particle p moves along the circle then this angle phi is going to increase so actually rate of change of this angle phi is equal to the angular velocity of the same particle with respect to the point a so what we need to find out is angular velocity with respect to point a is nothing but the rate of change of the angle phi d phi by dt and what is given the question is the angular velocity with respect to point o so this is omega o with respect to the point o and angular velocity with point a will be defined as the rate of change of this angle the angle phi sorry angle phi with respect to the diameter now what is the relation between angle theta and angle phi in this figure we can say that we can say in this circle oa and op are the radius both of them are radius you see this much distance oa is the radius of the circle and even op also the radius of circle so triangle oap is an isosceles triangle having the two equal sides so the angles corresponding to the equal side should be equal so these two angles should be phi these angles should be phi both are equal and we know that we know that uh, the sum of the two internal angles is equal to the external angle theta so basically phi plus phi is equal to theta or in other way also we can find the answer let us take this angle here as the total angle inside a triangle should be equal to 180 degree so this angle has to be 180 minus 2 phi or we can let us say it is x call it x in the triangle in the triangle oap we can write down x plus phi plus phi is equal to 180 degrees and not only that look at this angle x plus theta total angle on a straight line should also be 180 degree so x plus theta x plus theta is also equal to 180 degree so can i say on this left side we can have x plus 2 phi and this 180 degree on the right side can be written as x plus theta so x plus theta then cancelling x from both sides will get theta is equal to 2 phi so this implies that theta is equal to 2 phi if you already know the geometry of a circle then one can one can easily say that uh, a given arc of a circle when it subtends some angle phi at the at any circumferential point then it should subtend two times of that angle at the center that is also another theorem of circle but anyways we are able to find the relation between theta and 2 phi now let's write down here theta is equal to 2 phi and now we differentiate this equation with time d theta by dt is equal to 2 times of d phi by dt now you see that d theta by dt is the angular velocity with respect to point o 
and the d5 by dt is the angular velocity of the same particle with respect to point a therefore our answer is omega a with respect to a is half of omega with respect to o and it is given the question that with respect to o the angular velocity is omega so the answer is half of omega interesting thing to note about this question is that uh, uh, that uh, the angular velocity of a particle depends on the point of reference or we can say angular velocity has different values angular velocity of the same particle has different values with respect to different point of reference different uh, points of reference for example here the center o was one reference point and the point a was another reference point and we can see angular velocity of the same particle has different values with respect to the different points and in contrast to this we should also study in rigid body dynamics the angular velocity of a rigid body does not depend on any point of reference it is always omega angular velocity of rigid body but for a particle it depends on the choice of the reference or origin point